Hello everyone, thank you for watching. My partner Dina Khreshe and I, Farah al Laham, will be talking about stability circles and also we will give an example about them. Stability circle is a determination of load or source value that must be avoided to achieve a non-oscillation behavior of a device. Stability circles are input stability circle which represents the source impedance and output stability circle that represents the load impedance. Stability circle can be unconditionally stable or conditionally stable. A condition must occur to achieve stability. Gamma N and gamma out amplitude must be less than one. The main way of determining any device stability is by calculating two factors, delta and the K parameter. The K parameter represents the roulette stability factor, which can be computed by the S parameters. For the unconditionally stable, K must be greater than one and delta must be less than one. This shows no intersection between stability circles and Smith chart, where the amplifier remains stable through Smith chart domain. While in the conditionally stable, K must be less than one and delta must be less than one as well. This represents the conditionally stable circle, which shown, as shown in the figure, an intersection has occurred between the Smith chart and the circle. Stability consideration. When designing an amplifier, it's quite important to check on the stability in both input and output circles to avoid oscillation, which is considered a common problem of MOSFET devices, where they're conditionally stable, which indicates a clipping among the Smith chart. This means if an open or short circuit is applied to the input, the device may well oscillate. The solution will be by adding a shunt conductance at input or output of an active device. Now you will solve the question. The question will be solved by using a Kitab program. A gallium arsenide MOSFET has the following S parameters measured at UDS equals 3 volt and IDS equals 30 milliampere for 10 gigahertz with a 50 ohm reference. S11 equals 0.52 with phase minus 145. S12 equals 0.03 with phase 20. S21 equals 2.56 with phase 170. S22 equals 0.48 with phase minus 20. Draw the input and output stability circles. To solve the question, we have to find the values of center and radius at the source, which is input, and load, which is the output, by using special calculator where you enter the S parameters and it gives you the values required. The S parameters has already been entered S11, S12, S21, and S22. We click on stability circles, then we click on stability circles again to give us the radius of the source and the center magnitude and phase of the source, the radius of the load and the center which has the magnitude and the phase of the load. We note those values and then we close it, we open the GitHub program and import a Smith chart as PDF, of course. Then we have to measure the reflection coefficient scale to start solving the question. We click on tools. We get the ruler, we measure the gamma, the gamma scale, and as we can see, the value is around 
point two. Then you multiply the gamma, 8.2, with all centered and radii values we got from the calculator. After that, we click on the pen icon to mark the phase of the center, which is 141 degrees. As we can see, Then we print the ruler and put it on the center of the Smith of the Smith chart. And extend it to the face, the point we marked. and draw a line, a straight line. And we extend it. As we can see. After that, we mark the new magnitude value on the line then we click on tools and get the compass and open it to the length of the new radius value and center it on the point we marked. And draw the circle. Change the background of the circle so it could be transparent. And this is our input stability circle, remove the ruler, remove the compass, remove the point drawn. Then for the output stability circles we have the same steps. That so we found values at the load, we apply them the same way we applied to the input stability circle and then we solved the whole question. Thank you so much. Hope you've enjoyed it and understood it really well. And have a good day.